So today I'm going to talk about uh, the doorbell transformer. So you've probably upgraded either to the Nest Hello or the Ring Video Doorbell Pro and, and you're having some issues with your doorbell. So first of all, I'd like to just show you what the transformer is and how it works. So this right here is the transformer. It has uh, low voltage coming out. This is a 16 volt transformer. And it's more typical in newer houses now to get a 16 volt. Um, here's your line voltage coming in. So this is 120 volts. And the transformer is change, stepping the power down to 16 volts AC. So let's go ahead and see what our voltage is that it's pushing out. So this is a 16 volt transformer, but it's actually pushing out 21 volts, 21 and a half volts. So I would say that this transformer would be well suited to either the Nest Hello or the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Now, transformers come in all different sizes too. If you have an older home, it's possible that you have a eight volt or a 12 volt transformer, and neither of those are gonna be suitable for um, running the either doorbell, either the Nest Home or the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. So, there's also another type of transformer, and it's the plug-in transformer. And this one is rated at 16 volts, and I've had this one, and it's actually pushing out 17 and a half volts. So I've had this one running a Nest Video Doorbell Pro that I've been testing out, or excuse me, sorry about that, Nest Hello. And I've been testing it for the last 30 hours, and I've come to the conclusion that 17 volts is enough to run a doorbell and a mechanical chime, which I have here, and you can see that you can see the nest, hello, and the mechanical chime there. And I found that it is suitable to, to run it. You gotta make sure you have your power kit installed for sure. So, basically if you have a home that is running an eight and 12 volts, um, those are not gonna be good enough to run either doorbell. So I would recommend changing them. If it's easy to get to, these are easily changed out. I have a bunch of videos on it and you can go and look at one of my other videos. If you wanted to switch to the, the plug-in type, those work too. Uh, you need to have an outlet and be able to get, either extend the wire to the doorbell or you have to you know, have an outlet that's nearby. Um, there's also, I've been playing around with 24 volt transformers and those work great. Those work even better than, uh, the 16. Uh, so basically you want to be in a range of 16 volts to, uh, 24 volts on your transformer, uh, for either doorbell, either the Nest Hello or the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. If you're having problems with your Ring Video Doorbell Pro or your Nest Hello, I would suggest you go down and, and check and see what your transformer is rated at. If it's less than 16 volts, then you know you need to upgrade. Now, if it's so 16 to 24 volts, then chances are your transformer's not producing as much voltage as it's supposed to. 
and you would need to check that with a meter to see what it's doing. So I would recommend that you pick up the Sears Craftsman meter. It's really actually pretty good meter. Um, you can pick it up anywhere from 11 to $20. Uh, they put it on sale uh, quite often actually. And, uh, and then I would go home, test what your doorbell is putting out. And if, if it's less than 16 volts, then you know you need to upgrade. Thanks for watching. I have tons of other videos about doorbells and, and transformers and, and all that good stuff if you'd like to check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching.